Hello again, this is Jeremy with Math Boot Camps, and uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get the standard deviation out of your TI-84 or your TI-83 calculator. Now, the first thing when you're doing any kind of statistics on a calculator with a data set is to click the stat button and go into your edit menu. The edit menu is where you actually input data, and you see here number one, edit, that's where I want to go. So I'm just going to press enter and go into my list. So you can see here, I have several lists and uh, L1 is the easiest place to put your data. So let me bring up this screen so you can see it a little bit better. What I'm gonna do is just put some random points in and the way I'm gonna put them in is just press the button, press enter. So I'm just putting in a few numbers. Doesn't really matter what they are. So I got my numbers in the calculator. Okay, for the standard deviation, you're gonna go to stat, calculate, and number one, one variable stats, one variable stats. So I go to number one, and it'll sit here just waiting. What it's asking for is for a list, but since you use list one, the default list, you can just press enter here. When you press enter, you get a lot of output. The main things you're looking for are S and sigma. So S is the sample standard deviation, and sigma represents the population standard deviation. You have to know which data you put in the calculator. So if your data comes from a sample, use S, and if your data comes from a population, use sigma. Now notice that the calculator didn't give you variance, right? But variance is just the standard deviation squared. So you can just square your value from there. Now it's a fair question to say, well, what if you had data in a different list? So I'm gonna go back to stat and edit. And let's say for whatever reason, I had numbers in list two. Okay, I'm just gonna put a few numbers in there. When you go to stat and then calculate in one variable statistics again, right here, you can actually tell it L2 you see right above your two is a blue L2. So you can press second and two and tell it, hey, use L2 this time. And notice that I got different values now. Once again, though, I got standard deviation. You know, that's really lucky to get one, but I got standard deviation of one, sample standard deviation, right? And then population standard deviation would be 0.816.